welcome to another vlog. This week is a special week because it's Valentine's Day and I wanted to do something about that. I'm kind of doing all my posts this week about Valentine's Day. I know there's a lot of preparation that goes into it, um, but I also know there's a lot of last minute gifts. So I thought I'd do um, a little Valentine's Day recap of, of homemade gifts, easy and expensive um, and always cuter and way more cherished than bought gifts. I have been doing Valentine's Day for eight years now with um, with my fiance Steven. We have so many gifts over the years. Um, some of these aren't from Valentine's Day, some of these are from like Christmas or our birthdays. Um, but they're great gifts for Valentine's Day. It's super sentimental. So for the most part he made all of these because he is way more cute than I am um, and he's just really good at these. I'm going to show you what he made me and then maybe you can use it for your significant other. Okay, we'll start with this one. Um, let's see, this is a cocktail recipe book that he made me for my 21st birthday. I can only show you some things in here, but basically it's just Kayla's 21st birthday cocktails. You can make it for any alcohol lover um, for Valentine's Day, and I think it's really cute. It's just a happy 21st birthday, love you with all my heart, Kayla's 21st cocktail recipes. The rest of the bottom has to do with me being 21, so that's not really part of it. He did this one, it's a gin and tonic, which is like a simple recipe, but still. So he did gin and tonic, um, and then he did a picture of my friends and I, and then he did, um, you know, a picture of the drink, and then what it takes to put in it, he put the recipe down there, and it's so cute, like there's so many of them in here, and it's really fun. This is the tequila sunrise, this is me cleaning up a mess, it's just like silly pictures of me, and like, um, possibly after a drink or two. So it might be good for your for for a boy too. Like if there's you know if he likes a bunch of you could do all whiskey drinks or all bourbon drinks or whatever he likes to drink. Then this like awesome book that he had made. Um, so it's like he had it put together so well. The second thing I think I'll do the one that I actually made. So I made him this picture frame. Um, you can see it has just different pictures of us from when we were younger, but at the time it was from that year. So this must have been in 2008 or nine. What I like about this picture frame is it's different things that mean, well this is the place that means a lot to us at the camp and then it's just pictures of us. But it's not too girly, it's just like it's in a black frame and it's not like, I don't know, it's not like pictures of us kissing or something because boys like don't care about that. And then on the back I put this thing that's some of my favorite memories. So I wrote like, I just kind of separated them by lines, but I just wrote like different things. It's just a cute way to be kind of like a thing for us. No one ever has to see that but me and him. And now I love you. I think it's good for boys because I think they are less likely to print on their own pictures. Okay, I think this is our 17th birthday. And so, but this can be made obviously around Valentine's Day. And it's basically like a slideshow I'll show you up close. This is our prom, our junior year prom. So, I don't even know what year that was. Basically, it's just him talking to the camera and he looks so funny. And if I can put a clip in, of him, I'm going to because it's hilarious because he looks like a baby. In between, he'll have pictures, like a slideshow of pictures with music, and it was like songs that from camp that like mean a lot to us, stuff like that. Pure Sue and Sven, we have to watch together because it's fun. This gift he made me um, at the end of this year, I think, for my birthday. It was kind of a wrap up of um, a wrap up of our my college years, which I thought was really awesome. He made me like this little collage thing. It's in a folder, and it's just like um, those those little sheets that you can like stick stuff in. Those clear sheets that you stick papers in. He just made me these collages of like all the years of college. This is my freshman year. It was all the people that were important to me that year, and like all my new friends. And um, it was even when I graduated from high school. Me, and my mom. My dorm room is in it, my first dorm. He put all like, the big moments from that year, and the moments for us, and also the moments for me and my friends. So it wasn't just me and him, it's like uh, me and my new friends at our football game, or you know, when we went to our first bar, that kind of thing. I loved it, it was such a cute gift, and it was such a great way to end the four years. It could be you know, years in your relationship, or months in your relationship, whatever you want. This one is definitely harder to make, and I think it would take times so and maybe next Valentine's Day. This was 2010 and then he made me another one 2011. It's what we call the textbook so if you like see all these pages um, it's this book of it's just like papers you know typed up which took him forever he said typed up and stapled together of text from our relationship so it's like text back and forth so it's like I'll say something and then he'll say something nice back and it's just it could be something from like I love you or like good, like good morning and he'll say under it 
for most of them why it meant that text meant so much to him, why he saved it. This one's from like October 2008. That's the first one that I had. They're so embarrassing, the first ones. Every other word is capitalized, like all in caps. They didn't read these all up. So that was 2010, and then he made me textbook part two in 2011. So I have pretty much eight, nine, ten, eleven, three years worth of like text messages sweet text messages that we sent to each other. It's like an intense gift. If you could do something like that, you're impressed. So those are my five gifts. I think the important thing is just to be sentimental and I think making up your own kind of Valentine's Day traditions is a good thing. Those are my Valentine's Day gift ideas and I hope you enjoyed them. And sorry that Steve made them all, but he's a better girlfriend than I am, so. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button below if you liked it.